What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number four of my Real Madrid crew mode. I, I just want to take a minute to apologize for episode three. I'm still trying to get used to this new mic. Uh, there is a pretty noticeable echo in episode three. Uh, so I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm really sorry if there's one right now. Uh, because there's this gain setting and I had it about halfway up uh, now I just have it a little bit up because I'm fairly close to the mic so I, I guess I was catching a lot of uh, reverb off the walls and stuff like that uh, so uh, this is a great episode I got for you because last episode I was saying how badly we needed to win uh, this is a three game episode the first three game episode of the series so far look at that <laughs> I tried a little kickoff glitch or whatever you want to call it right there uh, I just wanted to see if it would work in career mode and uh, I that was just a little bit of a glitch because he just kind of fell down. But uh, I kind of felt bad whenever I scored that. Um, but I'm sure everyone else has always scored goals that they're not really proud of in career mode. So uh, they do bring it right back in the 19th minute, though. Uh, and right here, they are coming back strong again. And what a shot. I cannot take any way, uh, or anything away from number 7 right there. I have no clue who that is. Uh, I probably couldn't even name a player on this team, honestly, but that shot was unbelievable. So, um, yeah, there's no problem with watching that. Uh, and after that, I'm like, you know what? No. Hart, I've had enough of you. Uh, even though he is, he did go up one overall, I decided, you know what? Let's put Casillas in. See what he has. See how much better he performs. And I've got to say, he did show a lot more talent than uh, Hart has been. So, uh, Suarez off to Ronaldo, back to Suarez, nice little McGeady spin right there, and a beautiful finesse shot into the bottom right hand corner in the 35th minute. Uh, so Suarez has been playing a lot better the, pl uh, the past couple of games, so I'm not going to say that he's uh, not going to be the backup, uh, if I said that right, uh, because at this point it's just Benzema as the backup, and then Suarez is the first string. So that's definitely going to stay like that for now. But Modric is making a nice little run off to Suarez. Uh, Suarez right there just cuts, makes a little bit of good dribbling moves right there and just slots in the bottom left-hand corner to make it 3-2 Real Madrid in the 39th minute. So I was pretty happy at that point because um, they were kind of uh, having a lot of chances up to that point. But right here, Suarez, I thought he was going to just chip that over the keeper, but I held it a little bit more than I should have. Uh, no problem with that, so uh, Ronaldo out here to the corner, shows a little bit of skill with the Rabona fake, even though it didn't really get him or anything, but I'm like, you know what, let's test a shot, and it's not shabby at all, uh, but it is a very good save by their keeper right there, Schweinsteiger right in there, heads it, blocks, and oh, Benzema, no, I gave you the chance, I sub Suarez off, I'm like, you know what, Benzema has got to score to just show that he can be that first string player. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I, that was more of a mistake on my part, I guess. I guess I held too long. But uh, nonetheless, we do win that game 3-2. to two. So very happy about that. And I, I think right after that match, um, yeah, we do get more scout updates. But I don't really care about them anymore. I think one of the big things the EA was... Uh, making sure they made a big deal about was the global scouting network, uh, global transfer network. And I don't use that. I honestly don't like that as much because I just liked, because I like to use players that I know are good. I know their specialties already, uh, but I know it's a lot of fun to get new players and see how they perform and just grow to be a good player. That's what I like to do with the youth scouts. Uh, so they can scout 16-year-olds and 15-year-olds and then make them the next star for me. So I just kind of like having to say, you know what? I know Sturridge is good. I know he's a lefty. I know where he can play perfectly. So I go ahead and scout him. But instead, this year, you kind of have to scout the players just to see what they want. Um, and I, I got to give them, you know, an A for effort because it is more realistic. But um, I kind of I kind of wish they didn't have that anymore. But uh, nonetheless, it's not really a big deal because I still kind of go for the players that I know are good. And look at Schweinsteiger showing off the strength in the 48th minute. Uh, I had to watch that back one more time. Even though it wasn't you know, the best goal, but it was actually a really good goal showing off his strength. And a little bit of curve for the finish right there. So he just gets by both of them, dribbles a pass, 
and a nice little curve into the top right corner. So that was a very good goal on his part. That was actually his first goal of the season as well. So, um, yeah, definitely happy because that's the 48th minute. The whole game, it was just kind of midfield play. There wasn't a whole lot of things happening, but uh, he does happen to put us up one nothing. So off to Schweinsteiger again. He's been the main man of this game right here. Uh, he just does a nice little lob through to Suarez and a nice little finish. I actually thought he was offside, uh, but the referee said he, he was not. So, you know, nonetheless, I do not care whether it was off or not because that was a nice little play. So 2 nothing in the 58th minute. So I was feeling good at this point. I'm thinking, you know what, this is a no-brainer. We're going to win this one, and I was right. So... I um, actually didn't show that. That was the replay right there. I thought Ronaldo was going to score that one, but a little bit too much curve on it. So uh, that's two wins out of the three matches this game so, or this episode so far. So I'm thinking, yes, here we go. Because we're just going up. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid are both losing. And now they send me this message that they're satisfied with the football I'm playing. Uh, they just sent me one two games ago saying that we need to win more. So now they're happy with this. All right, I guess I'll take it, but um, I just went ahead and saved it here just in case it freezes or anything like that, and we do come up against another league match, and uh, I guess because it's uh, Spanish football that there's not a whole lot of cup games, which I love because every time I play as an English team, there's so many cup games, and that means I have to switch players around a lot because... A lot of people are tired from the cup matches and the league matches, and they're just like one or two games apart, and it's very frustrating. And honestly, I don't really care a whole lot about the cup matches. I just want to play the league games and, you know, win the league because that's the big competition right there. And I decided to put Dean Marie in this match, and oh my god, what a decision I made because this was probably the best game for any player of this series so far. He played fantastic in the 15th minute. Nice little chip. I probably didn't even need to chip it, but uh, I figured I might as well try. And it did work. Nice positioning, great accuracy, great power. All around a great shot. Uh, right here, they do come back, though, and a little bit of luck. But you know what? Never mind. It was, in the, it was a near post shot. Uh, I don't know if that was his weak foot or not because I don't know a whole lot about these players from these unknown teams. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody saying that it's an unknown team and they're bad or anything, but what a shot from D. Maria. Uh, I didn't <laughs> just decide not to celebrate, even though that was a fantastic shot. I had to watch that one back there because that was actually a very good shot in between two players and to the top left corner. So at this point, I'm thinking, wow, is he going to get the number one spot in front of Bale? Because Bale, let's, let's face it, he hasn't really played as well as... I would hope for them to play. Um, so, I, at this point, it's still going to be, be Bale. Don't get me wrong. But Di Maria is definitely going to be one that I have to look at subbing in every once in a while. Uh, Ronaldo gets a nice little powerful shot right there. I love those shots that bounce off the keeper's hand right into the back of the net. Just shows off the player's power. And that is in the 66th minute. So, um, that's 3-1. And we happen to win that game as well. Three games, three victories. I was very happy. And I believe we are in fourth place. Um, so that's awesome. Fourth place, we're up there. Uh, let's just shoot for first place. There's a lot of games left, so anything could happen. Um, yeah, Valencia, believe it or not, is in first place. So that's awesome. Ronaldo's happy with the playtime he's getting. No doubt he is going to be playing almost every game that he can be playing. Uh, Atletico Madrid's in second place, Barcelona is in third, and yeah, we are in fourth place. Only a point in front of Real, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, and I can't really see it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was episode four, and I will see you all next time.